Oh, he's uh, burning back again. So, as you can see, we have the square body here again. And uh, it's time to do a little more work with it. So, as you know, uh, we got the turbo system almost all the way plumbed in. And what we're doing now is uh, it comes down to the point we're going to change uh, it over from mass airflow. This is the mass airflow sensor. And we're going to change it over to a speed density system. So, uh, in doing that, uh, we'll uh, <coughs> we end up hooking the map sensor up, which we have one here uh, that'll bolt it on. Uh, I, got a, I got the hose already hooked to the intake. So, we got to wire it up here, and we have to wire the uh, air temperature sensor up that we have put in the pipe. So, uh, stick around and uh, we'll get this. So anyway, uh, the mass airflow sensor. So we just come over here and uh, we took the clip out and we will disconnect the wires out of it. Okay, so this is uh, what we're going to be uh, taking the wires out of. But if you look in here, try to get the light there on it a bit better. If you look at the mass airflow sensor in here, see that thing sticking down right there? The little stuck up there? Well, that there is the actual uh, air temperature sensor inside the mass airflow. And if you actually look in the connector, let's uh, so get the camera there. See this like a little silver piece down there? At the bottom of it? Uh, let's see, get a. Yeah, the silver piece down there, well that's the two leads that come off of it. So, we look at this, and we know that it's, the, it's these two wires here. It's the black and the tan. So actually, uh, when you go look at the air temperature sensor, when we took her out, we actually took this out of a vehicle, and we actually took the connector out of it. The wires are actually colored black and tan as well. So that's, uh, that's a pretty, uh, pretty good one. Doesn't always work out that way, but uh, especially if you had to buy the pigtail with an uh, aftermarket sensor. <clears throat> but this is actually out of a GM vehicle, so uh, it should be fine. So what we'll do right now is we'll uh, we'll take the sensor here or the wire here, and we'll uh, cut the wires off. We'll probably trim back what we don't need, as we don't need all of that just to get to there. So uh, we'll we'll cut most of the thing off. We pull that back. And uh, we'll uh, join some wires up. So we got the harness trimmed off, so we, we won't need this uh, much of the harness anymore. These two wires getting up here, we'll just take these now. We, the third X are the ones that are left from the sensor, and we'll just trim them off just to get them out, and we leave them back in the harness because we don't need them. So uh, I'll put the candle back onto it and continue to join this up. End up uh, rooting uh, the conduit under the intake and back through this area and we shorten it up some more. I still got to uh, fix this here a bit. Uh, just get rid of some of the excess wire. But anyway, uh, we just uh, wound this together. Got some heat shrink uh, put on the roll back on the wires here. So we just solder these up now. Put the heat shrink on it, and uh, that'll take care of that connection. Okay, so we just uh, solder it, heat shrink it. Now we just feed it back in the conduit and uh, put a couple of cable ties onto it, and that is fine. You can take this two on the ends, but I always uh, put cable ties on them. Actually, the smaller ones will probably be a little bit better. Trim it up. And we'll go in right 
here. So they uh, attach it to here somewhere or around here somewhere just to keep it out of the way. So that's the intake air temperature sensor done. Now we had to move on over here to the map sensor. Okay, so onto the map sensor. So uh, I've already uh, disconnected this from the map sensor back here on the back of the intake. Yeah, see, them, and every little light goes down right there. So we pull the wires back to the conduit a little bit. We pull it out to here. So as you can see, the, that connector is uh, not the same as that connector. But anyway, uh, after looking up uh, the pin readouts in the in the book, uh, they're, they're the same pin readouts. So basically, as you can see here, it does say uh, A, B, and C. And if you take uh, this little uh, plastic piece, goes around the wires right here, uh, and you pull this down. Uh, it's going hard. It's going to be it's hard enough to see without it. But that there does say A, B, and C on it too. So, uh, so the pretty well works the same way. So you look at it. When I did look up the pinouts, uh, A is the ground. Let's see, I had it written down there. A is the ground, B is the sensor output, and C is the five volts. And when I check them, it's the same wiring in between A, B, and C matches A, B, and C. So, what we do with it now, uh, basically that goes down just like that. You, uh, the, the black goes to the orange, the green goes to that color green, and the gray goes to the other wire. So we'll uh, solder them in now, and uh, just and uh, see if we can reroute it and hide some stuff, and uh, we'll check it out shortly. And now we're heat shrinking it. Let me turn the torch up and hold it. Again, I only started using this uh, little torch for a little while ago. I used to use a soldering iron, but it took too long. And uh, I, I used to use just a regular heat gun. Actually, is the heat gun that's uh, hung around the side of the world every there. Uh, Princess Auto uh, heat gun, looks like a hair dryer. That'll, uh, that gets plenty hot to melt all this heat shrink. So, we'll uh, put some conduit over that now, move the wires around, plug her in. Okay, so we just rolled it down under here, up here, and into the sensor. So, that's hooked up there now. And uh, we got a mile of this stuff here left. And you know, that I got a plug put in it right now. So actually, uh, if, if you look down there, I'll move the light right there. If you look down there, you can see I just got a bolt put in there. I was planning, I have an oxygen sensor put in the other side. Uh, the point coming out of the manifold. And that there is going to be where the Y band is going to go in. So we're not going to need any oxygen sensors because the tomb we're going to put in, we're going to use our fuel enrichment. So it'll take a little while to get it uh, tuned in. But again, it uh, looks like we're probably going to be uh, decapping the injectors and using the wide band to tune it. But for now, uh, I probably will uh, sink a second oxygen sensor in that. So I'll have the two oxygen sensors that I can look at on the HP tuners uh, see, just to see some indication. And uh, anyway, I'll have the wide band in there, so uh, eventually I think I'm going to 
a drill and weld another bone in there just uh, next to each other so I could have it out there. So, uh, so uh, anyway, I'll, sh I'll shorten that wire up a lot because even though uh, you see all this and that's onto it, uh, you got to realize uh, once the oxygen sensor, oxygen sensor goes into it, uh, it probably got about 12 to 16 inches of wire on the oxygen sensor as well. So, uh, anyway, uh, that's probably it for that video for now. Uh, maybe later we'll be able to see uh, how we actually uh, change this to tune over in the computer to uh, the speed density tone. But for now, that's how you wire your 2 bar MAP sensor in and you wire your intake air temperature sensor in in place of it. So, uh, a week in the burnies, that's all for now.